<laughs> hey guys, this is David Fine from Keys Moths. Uh, this little guy just emerged and this guy is somebody that I'm very, very excited to show you. It is our channel's uh, mascot, the Faithful Beauty, uh, red, white, and blue colors. Guys, it's Composia fidelissima, and that last name, the species name fidelissima, uh, gets its name from Fidelity, which would be Faithful. Obviously, it was named because it's a U.S. bug and it's got U.S. colors. And in honor, I wore my Star Spangled Banner shorts. But anyway, guys, super cool bug. This guy just emerged. I'm raising these guys right now, and I just wanted to share with you a little bit about this beautiful creature. I've got great videos coming up that we're gonna show you some of the, the detailed uh, details of this bug. But guys, don't forget to subscribe, and it's very, very important that you hit the bell on the notifications, because when you hit that bell, you'll get more videos like this, and you'll be able to see some of these super cool South Florida bugs, and I'm gonna show you all about things like Composia Fidelissima, the faithful beauty. Uh, guys, this is a male. It just emerged uh, literally minutes ago and it's drying his wings right now. So uh, he's super chill and I'm breeding these guys. I found a few clusters of eggs lately, which has allowed me to uh, take these in and raise them and document the life cycle. So uh, we're gonna do that now. And he's probably got another 10, 15 minutes before he's ready to fly and uh, and we'll see if we can get him hooked up with a girl. This is a boy. Uh, sexes are very similar. They're actually very diff difficult to tell apart, uh, but the boys do have some feathers on the end of their antenna. I probably can't see it from this video. You're gonna have to check out some of the incredible macro videography and videography shots that I got uh, in upcoming videos. But this is just gonna, a quicker video that can just give you a snapshot of what's to come. Guys, this bug is super hard to find. I'll never forget the first time I saw one when I was a little kid uh, in Boca Raton, at, actually at Gumbo Limbo Nature Center in Boca Raton. I saw this white, blue, and red thing flying by, and I thought it was a butterfly. Never seen a butterfly like that before. I was thinking it was like 10 or 12 years old. And it turns out to be one of these things. And guys, they, they live in coastal habitats um, all the way up and down South Florida coastline. Uh, but they can be really, really common in the slash pine uh, forests of the Miami-Dade County, down the Florida Keys, and um, Everglades National Park. So if you really wanna see these guys, a great place to do it would be in Everglades National Park, uh, Long Pine Key, gates three and four. I think it's a great place to actually see these guys. A host plant is there and you can see them. So uh, guys, super cool bug, um, flies during the day, also comes to lights at night so they fly during the day and at night and uh gosh what else about it they if they're they're more active during twilight hours so if you want to really see them on the wing you would probably want to go out in the field uh, looking for them probably around 3 4 5 p.m uh, that's when they're more active they're kind of more of a little bit more of a crepuscular thing where they fly at twilight uh, but like i said they do come to lights and they do fly around during the day Caterpillars are super cool as well. We've got videos on that, finding the caterpillars and they're like neon purple and pink. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that, guys. This is a cool bug all the way around. Uh, they've got, they feed on a poisonous plant. The devil's claw, the uh, devil's potato is a vine that is actually kind of in the oleander family. In fact, I raised these guys in oleander because the larvae actually very much love oleander. And um, it's an arteid moth. The tiger moth, uh, they they store those toxins that they get from the poisonous plant, and that's why they show off their red, white, and blue colors without any shame at all. So, uh, guys, this is a really cool bug. Um, they have a defense mechanism, which I'll show you in future videos. When they're disturbed, they'll actually disp dispel this like yellow, orangish, frothy, bad smelling stuff out of the top of their like right behind their head in the thorax uh and it actually accumulates there on the top of the head and that stuff i'm assuming tastes terrible because it smells terrible uh but this is a cool bug guys this is our, our mascot uh we don't see too too many of them in the keys but in north key largo they can be somewhat common uh the host plant grows on the hammock edges there in the tropical hardwood hammocks i used to see them more in the southern keys down in big pine key 
down the pylons down there, but I haven't seen a whole lot of them since, but they do have several great, uh, well uh, flourishing populations on the Florida mainland. And like I said, they can be found from time to time uh, somewhere in the coastal areas and little, little hammocks that might have the host plant growing up the uh, uh, hammock edges, but they, they eat, uh, these guys, it's a windy day, so he's blowing around a little bit. So he's starting to get a little excited. Um, gosh, guys, this, this video does no justice to the blue, iridescent blue. Uh, if you put a flash on this, it's a cloudy day, which is actually better for video purposes. But uh, if it was a, if there's any bright direct light on it, the blue, iridescent blue just pops on this guy. And it's a really magnificent bug. Um, so, like, gosh, what else about this bug? Uh, fantastic bug. Oh, it's our mascot. So our logo uh, on Keys Mods was kind of in honor of this uh, little beauty here, uh, Composia fidelissima. They live in South Florida and in the Caribbean. Uh, I know they're found in Cuba and the Bahamas and some of the Caribbean islands and such. And there's a few Composia species that live there as well. But um, they're pretty skittish. Even though they're poisonous, they don't like to hang around very long. If, if you see one zip by, uh, boy, they move. So uh, cool bug. Guys, hope you liked the video. I'm gonna show you a lot more about this bug in videos coming up. And so I hope you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're trying to build our Keys Moz family and we're gonna show you uh, all kinds of neat stuff about the moths of South Florida, butterflies and moths of South Florida, including the Faithful Beauty. So guys, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, don't forget to smash the bell. Smash the bell. In fact, I'm gonna challenge all of you, if you like the video, not only subscribe, that's just, that's obvious. Smash the bell, because when you do, you'll get notified whenever you we put out new videos. So give us a thumbs up, share this video. If you find it interesting, educational, uh, interesting, uh, share the video and uh, to your friends and let's build our Keys Mod family. So guys, faithful beauty, beautiful bug. Guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Uh, until next time, take care.